Okay, so for question 5b, we've got another um, definite interval, so we've got limits, and we've got to um, evaluate it and give it an exact form. Um, so once again, just like the first, last two, do not put it in your calculator, you're working this out by hand. Okay, so um, once again, we need to just rearrange that uh, an equation, um, sorry, the expression here, so that we can um, integrate it. So we've got x brackets, vx minus 12, so what makes it nice is we've got the brackets, so let's expand those. Just to um, help you out, if we write this as powers first, so you can see what we've got. We've got x power 1, x to the power half. You probably don't need to do this line, but if you do, then it's here to help. Um, and then expand the brackets. So when you times you add the indices, so 1 plus a half is 3 over 2. And then you've got 12x to the power of 1, and you're just going to write your 12x. And at that point there, we're all ready to go. Okay, so we increase um, the power by 1. So 3 over 2, if we just the 1, you get 5 over 2 and divide by x, so if we divide by 5 over 2, it's exactly the same as times in multiple fifths. So I'm going to write that there at the front. Likewise, we increase the power by 1. It's a 1 at the moment, so it becomes 2. And divided by 2, you've integrated now, so you need your square brackets, and you need to write down your limits. Okay, all right. Before we substitute in, it's just nice to um, sort this all out, so it's easier to deal with. So let's have a look at the first term. We've got 2 over 5, that's just a fraction, so leave it at the front. If we sort this out here, we've got x to the power of 5 over 2. So we've got two whole ones and a half left over. Okay, so 2 plus a half is back to the 5 over 2. And here, deal with your numbers first. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. And then you've got x squared and write down your limit. At this point, you're almost done. Let's just write that x to the power of a half of the same as root x minus 6x squared. Okay, we're red ready to substitute in now. So if we substitute the 2 in first, we've got 2 fifths times 2 squared, 2 squared is 4, times root x, so the square root of 2, which is root 2, minus, remember here we're doing the squared first, so 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 6 is 24. So we substitute um, that in. And then we're taking away, and if you put in 0 here, where you've got 0 squared, that makes that first term 0. And again, you that second term 0. So this second bracket's going to be 0. OK, so we just need to write this out now. So 2 times 4 is 8. So we've got 8 fifths root 2 and minus 24. Take away 0. Okay, and at that point we're done, so you're finished.